This adventure takes place in Tibet, a restricted land that is difficult to get into and even more difficult to explore independently. I started out from the ancient home of the Dalai Lama. My first objective was the Drepung Monastery, and then a long, easy day to the town of Chusul. July 1st. The real work began the next morning as I wound my way up to the Kampala Pass. Eight o'clock. I spent all day, literally all day to get to this pass. It took all day to get to the top and very little time to get to the bottom. The locals offered me a bed for the night. <laughs> <laughs> I slept in. Really rough day yesterday. Another long uphill day, but I couldn't reach the pass before dark. It's day four. It's windy out. Construction, dirt, and more riding uphill. At long last, the pass. No facilities, no people, just dust and fast moving Chinese vehicles. Thermometer right over 100. I'm really brown. Another day, another pass to conquer. I just wish the downhill rides weren't always so short compared to the uphill sections. The sight of the fortress told me that I was close to the monastery. Picturesque and peaceful, but never forget that yaks are territorial. I spent a night in town just for the luxury of a cold shower. July 4th? 4th of July! An example of Tibetan versus Chinese wealth distribution. I spent the rest of that day comfortably riding along the river to reach Shigatsi. A monastery and naturally next door, Chinese soldiers. It is one of the six Yellow Hat sect monasteries and was founded in 1447 and is the seat of the Panchen Lama. Breakfast time, day six. Another day of uphill riding. This is truly a land of contrasts. Dry land, wet land, heat, and summer hail, all in a day. By mid-afternoon, I ran into Walter, a Dutch guy riding from Beijing. We crossed the Yungla Pass together, my fifth pass in seven days. Yet I was only one third of the way to Kathmandu. I wondered how Walter felt riding for over a month to get this far.